Published 1713 Est, the 12th of November 2017. Updated 2109 Est, the 12th of November 2017. Boys as young as five should be able to wear tiaras at school without criticism. Teachers in Church of England schools are to be told. Male pupils should also be free to dress up in a tutu high heels without attracting any comment or observation, according to anti-bullying rules sent out by the church yesterday. The instructions for the COF's 4,700 schools said they should not require children to wear uniforms that create difficulty for trans pupils. The new rules for faith schools say males should be able to wear items usually worn by females picture posed by model This appears to give official backing to schools that ban skirts to avoid discrimination against transgender children. Schools are also told they cannot use the Christian faith or Bible teachings to justify behavior that is considered to amount to bullying, for example, identifying a transgender pupil by other than the one they have chosen. The advice contains instructions on how to report bullying, including sample forms on which teachers are encouraged to name the alleged bully in their target, and use tick boxes to describe what happened. Examples include name-calling, social media trolling, or insulting gestures. The rules to challenge homophobic, biphobic and transphobic bullying follow initial guidelines published by the church three years ago which said being gay can be good and pupils should revere and respect all members of the diverse community. The official teaching of the COFE, however, remains that gay is sinful and that members of the clergy should not be in an active UAL relationship with someone of the same. The Church also says marriage must continue to be between a man and a woman. Conservative Christian activists condemned the new rules yesterday. Andrea Miniciello Williams of Christian Concern, an evangelical member of the COFS Parliament, the General Synod, said these rules are unkind, unloving and lacking in compassion. We are all against bullying, but the Church is using these guidelines to pursue an agenda that runs counter to the Church's teaching. Justin Welby said this guidance helps schools to offer the Christian message of love, joy and celebration of our humanity without exception or exclusion. She added we are getting to the point where if you are not careful the slightest slip from the correct agenda in a Church of England school will get you punished. The anti-bullying agenda is aimed against people who step out of line. The anti-bullies are becoming the bullies. The new guidance came as a Christian teacher was suspended from a school in Oxfordshire after accidentally calling a transgender pupil girl instead of boy. Joshua Sutcliffe, 27, faces a disciplinary hearing this week in which he could lose his job, after the parents complained. The COFE rules say children in nurseries and the primaries that make up the majority of church schools should be free to follow their own inclinations when they dress. They state in the early years context and throughout primary school, play should be a hallmark of creative exploration. Pupils need to be able to play with the many cloaks of identity. Children should be at liberty to explore the possibilities of who they might be without judgment or derision. For example, a child may choose the tutu, princess tiara and heels and or the fireman's helmet, tall belt and superhero cloak without expectation or comment. The rules add within school communities there will be members of staff who are cohabiting, in same relationships, filial, trans or exploring their gender identity, same parents and trans parents may be among the parent body and in most secondary schools a minority of pupils will come out as gay or lesbian during their years in the school, an increasing number of children and young people are being referred to gender identity services, an increasing number of primary and secondary schools are reporting incidences of children wishing to identify as other than the gender of their birth, any school that does not teach the importance of gay or transgender rights will be failing in their duty to prepare their pupils to live in modern Britain, the church rules say. A child may choose the tutu, princess tiara and heels and or the fireman's helmet, tall belt and superhero cloak without expectation or comment, say the new rules. Pictured the Archbishop of Canterbury Justin Well by guidance adds that there can be no justification for this negative behavior based on the Christian faith of the Bible. It states that the Church of England's teaching on human duality in a range of Christian views should be taught, as well as a range of perspectives from other faiths and world views. The Most Rev Justin Welby, the Archbishop of Canterbury, said central to Christian theology is the truth that every single one of us is made in the image of God.
Every one of us is loved unconditionally by God. This guidance helps schools to offer the Christian message of love, joy and celebration of our humanity without exception or exclusion. Roman Catholic schools are to cut the terms mother and father from admissions forms to avoid offending step-parents and same couples. It follows a complaint by a parent against Holy Ghost Roman Catholic Primary School in Wandsworth, South London, after it used Mother Guardian and Father Guardian on a form. The office of the school's adjudicator upheld the complaint, saying the wording might be taken to imply that the school is restricting its definition of parent. The Catholic Education Service is understood to be preparing a form using the family instead. Drag queens are being brought into taxpayer-funded nursery schools to teach children about UAL diversity. The Drag Queen Storytime organization, based in Bristol, was formed to teach children about LGBT tolerance. Nursery bosses say the sessions will help children to see people who defy rigid gender restrictions and grow up to combat hate crime. Donna Lamode is one of the drag queens who will be sent in to read stories to children at nursery if you want to target two- and three-year-olds to influence them early. The drag queens, including Donna Lamode, will read stories to the children. The sessions are being held at seven London Early Years Foundation nurseries over the winter, and if they are successful they will be rolled out across all the LEYF's 37 sites, but leading child psychotherapist Dillis Dawes feared they could sow the seeds of confusion in young children about their own UAL identity. An advisor to the Archbishop of Canterbury has quit in protest over the Church of England's liberal teaching. Lorna Ashworth, a conservative evangelical who sat on the Archbishop's Council, said the COFE has become revisionist and heretical. She also resigned from the General Synod. Lorna Ashworth quit her position in the Church of England because of its liberal agenda. Mother of the re Mrs. Ashworth, 47, is disappointed by COFE moves to condemn those who try to persuade gay people to become heterodal, and by its deepening accommodation of the transgender lobby. She said in light of this revisionist agenda and the heretical teaching, I am no longer willing to sit around the table, pretending we, as a governing body of the Church of England, are having legitimate conversations about mission. Mrs. Ashworth added that she and many others long for clear and courageous biblical leadership.